bigs on the front line, you'll see two bigs come in. That's really the personalities of Frank Vogel and who this team is when they're good, Dave. Yeah, they're really all year as George gets into the lane, but trying to figure out what kind of a team they are. Are they a fast-paced and Doug, you've always talked about how it's a first quarter game yeah. in the NBA. Steve Kerr last night said the second half of that first quarter is George Connects is where they lost the game against Minnesota last night. Gives you a great appreciation of that 96 oh Bulls team. Still the Warriors haven't lost back-to-back -back games, which Steve Kerr says has been the most amazing yeah. part of this run. Here's George heating up. Paul George has made his last three shots, and the Pacers have a three-point lead. Well played, uh, played first quarter, Dave. Offensively, I don't know if this is what we thought we were going to see with the way the Pacers have been defending. As Paul George hit, they're going to count the basket. So a three-point opportunity. First foul on Tristan Thompson. Smart play, though, Dave. You said get a three-point play. Yeah, that would have been a side out in college. Yeah. Ball knocked away. Smith saves it, but picked off by George. George takes it himself, gets clubbed, and will go to the line. The game, and I think for Indiana, the difference at that three-point line. Saturday, and I know we'll talk a lot of... I mean, that, that's, that's a lot of threes by seven guys. And Irving has not had a good year right. shooting the three. He was at 42% last year. The final two games are at home against Atlanta and Detroit. And by then, he percent. Cleveland back within six. The Pacers led by 14 earlier in the quarter. Paul George into the paint. Puts it in. And that was just a power move that time. Fourth quarter. If they're going to get in the playoffs and make any noise, that's got to change. And you look at games decided by five points or less as the three goes for Paul George. Indiana has lost losses and stuff in the offseason. And Terry Stotts and Rick Carlisle have been brilliant this year. Portland could still get to five in the West. Here's George knifing through the defense, putting it in and drawing a five. Slashing, cutting, 42 points. They also have 13 second chance points. They've gotten to the uh, that great fourth, the first quarter where... He was four of seven, 14 points. He's made only one basket since as George drills a three. 29 points for Paul George. 